<laughs> Gonna start recording on 20 seconds. This way. <clears throat> Twenty-five. What's going on, guys? It's Compound Zero Ten back in for another video here on the channel. Welcome back to another episode of South Park Factory Battle. Potentially the last one. I don't know. I don't know if it will be. But this is potentially the last episode. Uh, last episode we got spun out by quite a bit. We went back in time, uh, and then we went back in time even further. And now we're in present day, just before. Uh, the mayor was about to get sworn into office, I think, or the uh, inauguration of mayor. So we're actually currently running towards the inauguration, trying to stop Mitch Connor. And we have uh, Cartman with us, which is ironic. Still stop this fucker! There he is, guys. Y you're alive? Oh, thank God! Mitch Connor's about to be sworn in. Come on, guys, we gotta stop him. You're not going anywhere, you piece of shit. You're gonna finally admit this was all you. I am not on Mitch Connor's side, you guys. Stop this. You are Mitch Connor. Admit it, Cartman. No, I'm not, Cal. Admit it. No, Cal. I have no control over Mitch Connor. You are Mitch Connor. You've always been Mitch Connor, and you better stop right fucking now. Then how do you explain this, Cal? Well, 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 the plot thickens. That's not funny, Cal. I'm not doing it. Dude, fuck you. What's the matter, Kim? Shoes on the other hand. Cal, fucking knock it off. Why are you pissed at him? Because he's fucking making it up, that's why. I'm not making it up, dude. That's your fucking hand, asshole. Stop fucking trolling me. How is he trolling you, Keen? Because he's trying to teach me a lesson about being deceitful. Wait, so you admit you were making it up before? See, this is a troll to get me to admit I was trolling you guys. <laughs> this is just what I wanted. All the coon friends at each other's throats. Dude, come on, are you doing that? Maybe he is. Which means maybe Cartman was just doing it before. Well, will you admit it, Cartman? You see, that proves it. See what he's doing, right? I have no fucking idea. Oh, how one little issue of mistrust can rip a team apart. Well, Freedom Pals, who do you attack? Me or the Keen? <laughs> Defeat Mitch Connor again. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can I have a uh, coon? Khan. Okay. Supercar, get this. <clears throat> Knock it off, Cal. Seriously, it's not fucking funny. Dude, I'm not doing it. Bullshit. What's the matter, Coon? You're not happy to see me? Fuck you, Cal. <laughs> this whole turn of events has boggled even my giant brain. New rule. Any damage I take goes to the Coon. What? Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, status effects, too. What the, what the hell? Mitch, <sighs> stop. This is cruel. No can do, human cat. It's the ruse. You son of a bitch! Nope. We have to take Cartman out to take out my so. Oh, come on. We need to go that bad. Bounces off me and stick to Keen. Yeah, Kyle, this is super weird. You're up now, butt lord. Who's it gonna be, me or the Keen? <laughs> Nicely done, Freedom Pal. <laughs> Did you mean to hit Keen? Fix that for you. How, you son of a bitch! Unfortunately, all I can do is take out the coon, but so I can take out Mitch Connor. But Lord's really giving him shit. Oh, that's gonna sting, coon. This is such BS, dude. <laughs> How about you, Freedom Pal? Which one of us is the real villain? Dude, I don't know what to do. I know you'll do the right thing. You attack me, you attack the coon. Kyle, this is super weird. You're up. Who you gonna fight, Freedom Pal? God, God damn you guys. This isn't fair. I'll say. Well, well, what? well, good to see you again, Mitch from an alternate universe. 
Oh, God fucking damn it. Okay, now this makes no sense. Cool. That didn't count. I can't believe this. I don't know. To, I'm fighting two Mitch Connors. All right, my turn. Here we go. Cut. <laughs> It'll take more than that to take me out, Freedom Pals. You think you can just come in here and make your own rules, imposter? Will you stop messing around, Kyle? Uh, just put your hand down. You can't defeat the real Mitch Connor. Funny, I was gonna say the same thing. Let's dance, Faker. I'm so confused. Welcome to the Eye of the Storm. End this charade, humankind. It's not a charade. This is Mitch's doing. <laughs> that was lame, so it didn't count. That causes gross out, actually. Oh my god. I just don't know who to believe. Really? Because it seems pretty fucking obvious. No, it fucking doesn't. I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm not sorry for what I'm about to do. Go, butthole. All right, let's freeze both of them. Give me a chance. It gives me an extra turn. That's not gonna say that didn't count. That would be fucking stupid and unfair. Oh my god, I'm so confused. There's two Mitch Connors. One's on Kyle's hand. One's on Cotton's hand. didn't take any damage yeah so so that causes gross out actually ready to screw the bad guys <laughs> i bet you are oh, dad doesn't let me watch him play with his tools ah oh, sick dude i wasn't ready when you attacked so i'm not taking that damage oh and you're on fire now this isn't fair next time don't yank so hard This is so unfair. Take the knot, assholes. <laughs> It'll take more than that, Freedom Pass. Oh, this is getting fucking retarded. I agree. The only way to end this is to defeat both of them. That's what I've been trying to do. Everyone's back, everyone's healed. Wait, 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 wait. Dr. Cole, Timothy calls no cheating. Go. Yes! Yeah. Fuck off, Connor. No pleasure in your pain, Coon. I have a really good feeling about this, Gad. Don't worry, I won't post that. Oh, am I up? Make it this much a room. How? Knock them into the bleachers. Double. Oh, my two blank mouth parts are agape in amazement. Dude, dial it back. Come on. Holy crap, did you jump through a wormhole? Nope. They should both be dead. Ha, you're not even good enough to be my fake. Carmen, this is your fault. Ugh. Thank God. Ha, they're both gone. Through the bowels of time. Survive the future the thoughts of future past. Drop it, badass. Tell these guys you were just fucking with me. They're gonna just keep beating the shit out of both of us. Yeah, dude, Kyle, if you're just fucking with us, we have to know. You're just making things more confusing. If I was just fucking with you, then so was he. Fine. Maybe I'll admit it. 
I'll admit I was just fucking with you guys. But only if Kyle admits to it first. I'm not saying anything until he does. You admit it first. All right, fine. We'll both admit it at the same time, all right? On three, we'll both say I was just fucking with you. Fine? Fine. Okay, fine. One, two, three. I was just fucking with you. Ha ha, gotcha. Oh, you asshole. And for too long, our town has been led by a dumbass bitch mayor who never did anything to stop crime. And now Mitch Connor's gonna... All right, all right, enough talking. Just make me mayor already. It's Mitch Connor. Go on, hurry, swear me in. All right, uh, to begin the inauguration, Mr. Connor, would you raise your right hand, please? I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. Wait! Wait, stop! Yeah. What's going on here? Just finish the ceremony. Everyone, listen! This is all just a plan to get more crime in our town so that the Coon and French franchise would be bigger than the Freedom Pals franchise! Cat urine has been put into your drugs and alcohol to raise crime in the city so that the Coon would have more crime to fight. Everything was thought of by this asshole! Mitch Connor rides a fat raccoon? No, don't you get it? He did it all! Go ahead, new kid. Show them the selfie you took. Good. Now upload it to me and I'll put it on Connor's Instagram for everyone to see. Upload. Look, Mitch Connor's plan. Hey, they're right. You mean he was putting poison in our wine and cocaine? Why? Yeah, why? I'll tell you, eh? Because the new kid isn't the only person who had a parent get fucked. My dad got fucked when I was nine years old. What? Only two people on this stage know how that feels. Stop with that already. Shh, I want to hear this. My father will be avenged, even if it means everyone else has to die. Mitch, Mitch, it's over, man. Oh, for fuck's sake. What the hell are you doing here? I've been here all along, son. It's not your fault, Mitch. It's my fault. What are you talking about? It was me, Mitch. I'm the one who fucked your dad. Whoa! What? You fucked my dad, ma'am? Why? I did it for us, son. I wanted a future for you. All these years, hunting for the person that fucked my dad, and it was my own mother? Mitch, try and stay calm. <laughs> Fuck you, Coon! You may be really cute, but even you can't fix this! Did he look at you, ma'am? Huh? Did he look you in the eye when you snuck up and fucked him? Mitch, it was a long time ago! Not to me! It's every day to me! Forgive her, Mitch! Please tell me you're not buying into this. I'm gonna kill you for what you did! Then just kill me, Mitch! Please, you kill me! I don't wanna live! I'll kill you, you kill me! I'll kill you, you kill me! I'll kill you! <laughs> well, thank God that guy isn't gonna be mayor. Come on, everybody. Let's go get clean drugs and alcohol from the next town over. Let's yeah! Go! <clears throat> really? Really? That was it? Oh my god, that was so fucking anticlimactic. Bro. Oh, that's so anticlimactic. But that, that's what South Park do. That's what South Park do. They just give you a big fucking middle finger. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know what to say. <laughs> oh, I'm so like... I don't know if I'm angry. <laughs> oh my god, what a mindfuck. What a mindfuck. Why? This all started because Carl was a dumbass because he thinks that people shouldn't be fucked. I can skip the card, that's what happens. <laughs> you're the tickle bunny. No, you're the tickle bunny. <laughs> oh, hey, kiddo. Been out playing with your friends, honey? This is a great town, isn't it? I love it here. I'm so glad that all those years ago we came clean about our child's past. I feel like, I don't know, like our lives are different now somehow i love you and i love you
In fact, kiddo, would you excuse us for a moment? Mommy and Daddy have a little business to take care of upstairs. Oh, you little sneak. I wonder what they could be doing. <laughs> Did you really think you could stop bad things from happening? Don't you see that chaos always catches up with you? You've tried being a hero. Why not let your darker side free? There's only one truth in this life, old kid. No matter how hard you try to change the past, your dad will always have fucked your mouth. <laughs> okay, that's a better ending. That's a better ending. I like that. Ah. Uh, so next time, next episode, so next game, we're gonna be a fucking villain. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so mad now because that really wouldn't have taken- I should have just recorded for like two hours instead of editing the hour and a half episode. Short. I still don't know what I'm doing with that. <clears throat> if possible, I may add this in. So, it- this could- <laughs> So technically, this is episode 25. Or is this episode 26? No, this is episode 20. I don't know. I don't know anymore, okay? But the, whatever episode is this, whatever I recorded was an hour and a half long. So depending on when I cut that up, this could be the end of the beginning of that episode. I don't know. I may just add this bit on. So. Whoops. I skipped the credits. I wasn't meant to... Skip the credits. There's nothing else. Nothing else to do. Nothing else at all. If you just go to the map. So. This game has fucked with my head. A lot. A lot. And. The first thing I have to say about this game is that it's fucking amazing. I love it. I love every single aspect of this game well 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 except for like three things and the first being the towelie thing even though i've only seen it the, the twice if you have the pre-order towelie bundle thing don't put it on your save if you guys see this if if for some reason you haven't used it yet don't use it at all because then you have to have it on your save you can't uninstall it to play your save which is annoying because you get it gets really annoying really quickly so the second thing would be um, in the middle of long fights, if you die, have checkpoints in the middle fights where you feet the different sections of that fight, if that makes sense. Don't make you restart the whole fight. Um, would be easier. Like that, the fight that took part in the hour and a half episode, that wasn't pro probably wasn't actually an hour and a half. Whatever I recorded hour and a half, the episode before this one with the giant S fight where we fight ourselves, like, <clears throat> do it so that if you if you fought Clyde, then you died. Make it so that instead of having to fight Clyde again, you start from Clyde and you go forward. Uh, I guess that would make it too easy though. Uh, I'm glad I got past it. The only the only thing I went by was like keep my character by himself away from as much damage as possible because each fight changed characters and they got full health back anyway. So it was more about keeping your character alive. So if you want to use that tip, guys, do it. Uh, for the final fight, obviously you have every class. Maybe go ranged um, uh, instead of close quarters like I was. Um, I would it would have been better um, to go ranged and into brains instead of brawn. But hey, live and learn. If I ever play the game I, again, I uh, I may take more advantage of that. Um, there is one other thing that I can't I uh, like is a bit like eh about this game, but uh, honestly I can't remember. There is one other thing I was I have been thinking about. Um, but at this point in time, I can't remember it. But all in all, this game is great. Okay, it's a, such a good follow-up to The Stick of Truth. And I'm glad they did it. It took so long to come out from when they first revealed it. But whatever they did, it must have been worth it. Because it's better for them to release a completed game than a half-assed 
uh, non-complete game. So I'm glad they took the extra two years-ish to do it. I am glad. Um, I want. I feel like I I can speak for longer and longer on this game, but I I'm just running a point. Like the campaign was really good. I'm glad that they made it longer. I'm glad that there. I've got all these side missions to do, but I'm. I, there's no way this can be the only side missions. There has surely there has to still be more for me to do. Um, or find. Maybe there's not. I mean, maybe maybe there's not. But if there's not, then it's not a big deal. This will still keep me uh, keep you entertained for quite a while. So uh, I'm glad that they have the side quest and everything. I'm glad that they made the game longer. They made it more full. They fulfilled the RPG aspect more of it than uh, the Sick of Truth. Giving the player every class may have been a bit overkill. Um, like if you're gonna extend the classes, at least extend the moves. Like, so you have X, A, B, and Y. Obviously, A is to select it, though. I don't know. Like, there was a few buttons on the keypad, uh, the D-pad itself, they could probably make use of. Um, so, at least give one or two extra moves, because three moves and an ultimate really isn't enough. It's hard to choose what you want and everything. I managed to get through it okay, but I, even one more move would have really been helpful. Oh, I remember the one thing now. Uh, <laughs> I... I wish through walking, you could run, okay? Um, like in Sick of Truth, you could, I think it was hold B and you sprinted. In this, I think the, the sprinted is default speed, but it still seems slow as hell. Um, so instead of having the little fart as the RT key, or the, um, the, R, the right trigger or um, the right bumper on PlayStation, uh, I'd have that as run instead. Um, but hey, to be fair, Everywhere is pretty much connected by fast pa uh, fast fast stations anyway, so it doesn't really make too much of a difference in itself anyway. Um, so as a whole, we we've gone everywhere in this game. Um, there are side missions to do. However, I'm not going to do the side missions of this game for videos, only because I want to sit down and play this game freely. And not have rec I've recorded all of this in like four days. <laughs> I won't lie. This game I'm finishing this now on Saturday, no, on Friday the twentieth of October. So a week today, Assassin's Creed comes out, and I'm about to do this all again for Assassin's Creed. So, uh, so it would be nice to just chill out with this game on my TV instead of sitting down at my desk for a bit and playing it. So that's what I'm gonna do inside the side missions. I am. Going to be getting the the uh, the the um, season pass for this game, so I will be bringing out DLC content for this. I will do DLC videos for this game, um, which I'm looking forward to because the DLC has got to be fun. Like there's the DLC bus stop. Uh, it's yeah, the the DLC bus stop. They've got to be doing something with the South Park Mall. Um, I don't know if I missed the episode, but it, about the South Park Mall being. Under construction, I'm still not quite caught up to South Park in the TV show itself. And I'm hoping they do do something with Canada, as I have it up here as potential. Um, but I won't be too upset if they uh, if they can't do it. So uh, that's my hopes. That's what I'm planning on doing. Uh, so I'm going to keep doing this game. If I can find every single... The only other thing I'm thinking about doing this game, if I can find every toilet and complete every toilet... Um, I may go through the videos and do a toilet montage as just a funny kind of thing. Um, but I think that is literally about all I have to say on this game. So, thank you guys for watching uh, South Park The Factor of All. I hope you have enjoyed the long, twisted, rude, crude, fucking ass journey here. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Like I, I've immensely enjoyed this game, and I will play it again. Uh, I'm going to be playing the side missions now, like I said, off by myself, and then I'm lending it to Levi. And uh, it'd be nice to see what Levi thinks of the game too. Um, so that'd be fun. It'd be fun to talk to him about it and everything. And if you guys have any opinions on this game, please leave it down in the comments down below. Uh, let me know what you personally thought of the game. But let's say I, I personally really do like it. It's a really good sequel to. Um, Sick of truth. Uh, I'm happy that it's here. I'm happy that the game is done. 
and because I really enjoyed the story. So and I can't wait for the DLC now. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did all enjoy and I shall see you guys next time.